Hey. Ryan, how you doing? Good, you? I'm good. What's up, Steve? How you doing? Hi. I know you're always working on your craft. What's a particular focus for you right now? Or yeah, everything? everything pretty much. But uh, working kickoffs right now, uh, it's really important for me to get back into the game shape with those. I did those my freshman year at Montana and didn't do them last year. So I just need to continue to refine my plant foot, kind of the depth of where it's at. And then also on my punts, on my drop, it's been turning a little bit lately. So I've been really hitting those hard. Walking up and down the dorm halls doing my drops at night, so that's been good. Is kickoff something you uh, wanted to do since you got here? Uh, yeah, last year I really didn't focus on that too much. Brendan Frankie um, was our kickoff guy last year, and he has a massive leg. So I got here, I saw him hit some kickoffs, and I was like, wow, that's really good. So I'm going to let you do that, and I'll just keep punting. But um, this year for sure is something I want to bring into my kind of repertoire or my tool bag, and um, I'm super excited to have the opportunity to work on that along with Tristan and Timmy. And um, Coach Foley's been giving me a ton of tips on that, so. Um, I'm just really excited to see what we can do this season. Can you do something like that with an eye toward professional football and kind of being able to do it with everything? Yeah, for sure. It just makes it more marketable. Um, the ability to kick off is something that um, not all punters coming out of college have. And so I'm very aware that if I'm able to do that, it might set me above someone else who's maybe a comparable level of punting. But um, first and foremost, I'm here um, working to be the best kickoff man I can be, Coach Rule, and our team this year. As a punter, is there a statistical mark in some way you're looking to hit? Yeah, um, this summer I went across and worked with a bunch of different kicking coaches and I kind of learned that numbers kind of are really situational and circumstantial based. Um, some punter might have twice as many pooch punts, like inside the 20 punts as another guy, so you have less opportunities to rip long punts down the field. So um, obviously you want to have net punt. My goal is over 42 yards. Um, and a gross punt, I want to break the school record if I can, uh, 46.57 I believe. but. Um, I want to just do what I can to help our team. If I get put out there and 100 pooch punts and zero long punts this season, then that's perfectly fine by me. I just want to do what I can to help the team. But, um, yeah, obviously um, there's players around the country who all have different coaches and they have different ways of doing things. Some coaches go for it on fourth down more than others. So um, it's all situational based, but there are certain marks. Like you should be able to get above 40 net punt, above 44 gross average usually if you're, you know, one of the elite guys. Yeah, I think even today um, there was a situation towards we were running situations and I um, you know, wasn't completely locked in on what down it was and I could have done something differently on a field goal. But um, just being able to go out there and show the guys uh, maybe some of the mistakes I made early on and how to avoid those. Um, I just remember when I was a younger kid how much I looked up to the older guys um, and I just want to keep that perspective in mind um, because there's a lot of things off the field that these kids are going through right now that uh, Everyone on the outside kind of just sees them for their play, but they're still people, they still have lives. And so if I can mentor some kids off the field, um, maybe pick them up when they're down, um, if they're homesick, help them through that. Um, that's something that I struggled with and I really want others to maybe push through that. And I hope that I can help them with that a little bit. Yep, yeah, I'm working holding really hard. It's really important for punters to be able to hold, especially um, at a high level, so I can give Timmy and Tristan a fair shot um, at every field goal that they have to attempt. Yeah, it's a really awesome competition, honestly. There's no bitterness. There's no one kid makes it, the other one's sitting back there hoping the other one misses. We're both cheering each other on, their brothers. And I really am impressed with both of them. They've come out here and they've done really well in camp so far. They've worked really hard this summer and it's showed off. And uh, we're kicking on grass, we're kicking on turf. Um, we're doing all sorts of different you know, training for all the different types of services we'll play on. And they've handled that really well. Um, Tristan's done a really good job of coming into college and. Um, you know, stepping up right away and, um, you know, it's really hard as a freshman to be all the way there mentally and have the confidence, but he's done a great job with that. And Timmy's just a smooth, steady veteran who's been doing this a long time and he doesn't get phased by much. So it's been really good so far and I'm excited to see, you know, how it plays out the rest of fall camp. As, as guys, as personality-wise, how similar or how different is to Timmy and Tristan? Oh, man. You know, they are very far. The age gap is like six years, I think. So, um, they're not too similar. I mean, we all have, like, we're all hanging out during fall camp, and we're all kind of doing the same thing. So it's kind of hard to get a read on, you know, what they do off the field. But throughout the summer, we all hung out together, went golf, and did fun things like that. Um, and so I would say they both have a drive to be really successful at kicking. 
which is the most important thing to me. Um, at the end of the day, that's why we're here. We're playing Nebraska football. But, um, yeah, Tristan's a little more of a young buck, so you can tell that he hangs around his freshman friends a lot. And um, Timmy's in with a lot of the older guys on the team. So um, it's just a, it's a really good room that we have right now with Marco and Timmy. I call them the senior citizens of the room. And, um, you know, Tristan's a young kid, and he's just getting brought up. So it's been really fun. How's he, how's he uh, like, the overall grind of camp? I know that there's maybe some things you don't I'm guessing you have a vantage point as to what this camp's like, maybe compared to the previous coaching staff and the previous school you were at. What have, what have you kind of seen in terms of the grind? Yeah, it's definitely a grind. Um, staying in the dorms, you're kind of here all day, every day for weeks. But um, it's really, it sets us ourselves apart. It's something that we can take pride in. At the end of the day, when we line up versus opponent, you know that you did more to earn the win than someone else did, and you put in more work than someone else did. And that's something that I really like, and I, I really love it. I love how hard it is. I love coming here every day, sitting in meetings till 10 o'clock at night, because um, yeah, I know at the end of the day, it's what it takes to win, and that's what it takes to win in the Big Ten Conference when like the margins for error are so small. Um, it'd be a shame if we got five months from now and we weren't where we were record-wise, and you could look back and be like, man, I wish I would have worked harder then. That would be too late. So we are taking every measure right now to put our best step forward in terms of effort and I really appreciate that and I'm really excited to see what we can do this year. Do you, do you, do you sense that the team's working harder than it has in the past? I mean, we're on the team last year. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think everyone's really bought in and I'm just, I'm really proud of a lot of the leaders on the team who've stepped up. There's ups and downs, we're all human. There's days where it's hot and it's long and those have been the awesome times where leaders like Jeff and MJ and Isaac, like, I can go on and on, but those guys are stepping up and they're pushing everyone else to be the best that they can vocally, but also by the way that they run their practice and by the effort that they give. It really is inspiring to other guys. Can you maybe answer this? Sorry, take a different direction if you want, but how, how excited are you to be able to be healthy and fun? Yes. Yeah, it was. Last season was tough um, injury-wise, but uh, I'm really excited to be healthy, and I'm down 15 pounds as well, so I feel a lot more explosive than I did last year, um, and that's a, just a complete credit to Coach Campbell and Coach Christian for all of the work that they've done for us. Um, Coach Christian's the best nutritionist in the country. We have the largest nutrition staff in the country. Um, they are constantly harping on us about the things that we need to do to get back and healthy and ready to go. Hydration, eating healthy, eating vegetables, taking all of our vitamins. And then Coach Campbell, obviously, with all the running, all the lifting, but also the mobility piece has been huge. I know you, the guys have talked about that before. Um, and the focus on injury prevention has been enormous. And that's something that I've already seen um, with other guys, but I can feel it with myself. I mean, I hear it all the time. Guys are talking about how good they feel. This is the best they've felt playing football in a long time. And um, I can say the same for myself, certainly. Yeah, yep. like, yeah, 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 for sure. I sprained my ankle three times last season on my plant foot. And so this summer I worked a lot of ankle mobility movement and that's simply just like walking on my ankle sideways and stretching them out. There's all sorts of things that I can do for that. Um, Coach Hobbs is a certified physical therapist. So he is, was working with me during lifting this summer to work on a lot of things like that prehab wise. And so I feel you know better than I ever have right now. My shin splints are completely gone, everything is you know, rocking and rolling. So, knock on wood, it stays that way, but I'm sure it will. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.